here once we press the button you can see that it says clicked one times if we press the button again and again and again in this video i will show you how to create a counter app so basically every time we press the button the number of times we press the button will appear on text view let's get started so the first thing is what we're going to do is go to activity main which is right here and we're going to need a text view and a button a text view so it can show how many times we click the button and basically a button because we need something to press so text view can do what it does so we can show the number so what we're going to do is head to design which is right here and i'm just going to drag and drop i'm going to get the button from right here and just put it anywhere you can put it anywhere you want but since i'm in constraint layout i'm just going to set my constraints whenever you're in constraint layouts don't forget to set your constraints because android studio will give you an error now once we do that we're going to also drag text view and we're also going to give it constraints you can put your constraints wherever you want now once we finish doing that i'm going to go to split and i do this so i can set the ids set the size and everything so i'm going to set the i'm just going to leave the ids as it is the id for button is button and for text view it's just text view the reason we have ids is because that's how android studio knows which function we're targeting just like if you have two friends let's say mark and andrew if you want to talk to andrew you would say hey andrew i need you to come do something for me but when you call andrew it's not like you're calling mark because you're only calling andrew so instead of saying hey come over here you need to let them know who you're calling so hey andrew can you come over here so that's basically what ids do so i'm just going to leave the ids as they are but i'm going to make the text size right here a little bigger and to do that i'll just put text size and i'll just put 25 sp but you can do whatever you want and when you're using text view this is a little tip just put sp after it i know how you see it says dp right here but just put sp because android studio will say that it's better to use sp when doing text all right so now we're going to go get into the logic of the code so we're going to head over back to main activity.java and we're just going to initialize our variables so we had a text view so we're going to do text view and i'm just going to put text view just like that and also we had a button so i'm just going to do button button just like that and of course we need a number so that holds like we need a variable that holds the number of times we click the button so that it can display to the screen so what we're going to use is int and i'm just going to name the variable count and i'm going to set it equal to zero right here all right so now that we initialize our variables let's go put them and connect them with their ids so text view equals find view by id and we're going to do r dot id dot the id that you gave it so i gave it text view like if we go back to activity main and we click on text view right here you'll see that it, the id is text view so i just put it right here and then we're going to do a closing tag and then we're going to go to button equals find view by id r dot id dot button just like that now android studio knows exactly what we're talking about and don't worry we're going to get to the number that we initialized with int so next what we're going to do is basically the functionality of the button so we're going to do button dot set on click listener and basically what this does is that it does whatever you want it to do inside the function once you click the button it's basically what happens after you click a button and we're going to type new view now all of this pops up be sure to put your clicker here inside public void on click with the view view so now that that happened we're just going to do something simple once we click the button we're going to type we're going to type our variable our in variable count plus plus and what this does is that it increments it so every time the button is clicked it adds one to it 
now every time we add one we want it to show up on the text view so what we're gonna do is text view dot set text and you can put whatever you want but I'm just gonna put clicked and then I'm gonna concatenate it concatenate it by using the plus sign and then putting our variable because it will display clicked plus count times oh I forgot to put the the quoting marks times one more thing guys before you before you try this app out don't forget to space out right here so the words don't be clumped up together so just don't forget to add your spaces now let's go start up this on the emulator started up the app from the emulator once we press the button you can see that it says clicked one times if we press the button again and again and again the number just keeps increasing i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned from it if you enjoyed this video check out the other videos on my channel mass programmer out